Right now we're in the Karamoja region of Uganda. Karamoja makes up the northeastern corner of the country. If you've been here for any amount of time, you just start to realize that there's this feeling of heaviness that kind of sits on this region like a blanket. This area struggles with chronic drought, chronic food shortages. We see the effect of that, especially on the kids. Close to 20% of children here die before they reach their fifth birthday. As a mother, it must be so terrifying to feel like you have a baby, but you can't have any control over whether or not that child lives or dies. And, and it's almost like the Kerry Majong have just been cast as the victims. And that's kind of, the, to a large extent, the only role um, that they know how to play. But through our program, what we're encouraging people to really believe, and especially the women to believe, is that you know, they're not the victims, they're not beneficiaries, like they're the leaders, they're the change makers, they're the one that, are, that can take their community and make it a better place to live. You're the leaders in health, in your family and in your community. <laughs> That's a big responsibility. <laughs> but I know it's a responsibility that you're strong enough to carry. How this program works is that communities form groups of neighbor women, and each of these you know, groups of neighbor women, they elect one woman to be their leader. We call them the leader mothers. So every two weeks, leader mothers meet together in a group. We call those care groups. And one of our staff members is in, in charge of mentoring and coaching that group. So our staff member goes, meets with the leader mothers. They go through a different lesson, focusing on some key information that can have a, you know, a significant impact on improving maternal and child health. And then those women, after going through the lesson themselves, practicing, teaching the lesson to each other, they then take that lesson back to those same neighbor women that elected them and teach it to them. For me as a woman, and as a person who grew up here in Karamoja, I feel very delighted for this program. It's a new way indeed, because it's the first of its kind for us here in our community. For us as women, it's something very big, because here in Karamoja, life is a little bit hard for, for the woman. The women have been given a chance. They can speak for themselves. They can read and teach the other fellow women and then they move around also to see how the women and the children are. It's a big, it's a big opportunity, I should say. We are the change makers. So we are changing our community for the better. Hmm. We want women in this program to realize that, you know, it wasn't Samaritan's Purse or it wasn't a leader mother that, that brought change and brought hope, but God is the one that gives hope. God is the one who gives joy for them to know that God cares about their suffering and that it grieves him. You know, that he's not forgotten this part of, of Uganda. He's not forgotten this, this part of the world that's been so often neglected and stigmatized and, and beaten down. But you know, his heart is for them, his eye is on them. And I think when people see, when change starts to come, when children start to survive, when women start to have value, you know, feel their own value, feel their own self-worth, I think that can only point back to a loving father that can only point back to God because that kind of rebirth, you know, that's of the body but it's also of the mind and it only comes from, from one source and that's from God.